let's see. Good. Let me check a couple other spots real quick while we got the time. All right. Somehow the beanbag still seems clear. And the mushroom? Looking good. All right. So you guys do. You keep some things clean. Maybe it's just the proximity to the uh, litter box side of the room that gets you. I don't know. Well, I'm going to set that there. I'm going to set this here. I think. There we go. And then I'm going to set me right here and check the cameras. Um, I should have the floor camera better on this, shouldn't I? Well, we'll try that. That's splitting the difference, isn't it? Hi, kids. All right. So, uh, hi everybody, it's Sunday. I know I'm a day late for this mailbag and uh, it just couldn't be helped. Um, but uh, we've got news and this is only about half of the mailbag. I thought we would try to split it between the two rooms uh, and I was going to, I started in here because I thought these guys were active and wanted some company, but now they look like they're pretty chill. So... Yes, it is what it is. Uh, hang on now. I want to check the floor camera, and it takes like a minute for the floor camera to come on my phone. So give me one sec. Uh, I was also thinking about moving it already. Maybe this would be a good time to do that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So, um, oh no, now I messed it up. I'm just going to have to wait another minute. Um, let me check Discord and make sure you can hear me first, and then we'll start on the news and go from there. Hang on. Okay. Good. Looks like it might actually be a little low, but uh, let me check over here. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right. So, one last thing to check here. Yes, sound is good. Okay, fantastic. Um, all right. First off, let me say, uh, my allergies today are out of control. So, I'm going to try not to be too sniffy and sneezy, um, but uh, there might be a little bit of that. So, fair warning. Um Secondly, all the news today, I think, is about, uh, unfortunately, sick kittens. Now, nobody's doing too poorly, uh, thank goodness. But uh, we've, had, we're, we've got to do something to get this stuff knocked out. They've got the, mostly the, the symptom that they've got the most of is just really bad poop. Um, and uh, it doesn't have that Giardia smell to it anymore, but Giardia doesn't always smell. It does have the characteristic color, this sort of yellowness, and it's also just bad diarrhea. So... We've got a little bit of it um, in both rooms. Uh, we've seen um, at least Gabe and his sister had it over there. And I think his sister's pretty much recovered. Um, uh, by his sister, I mean Rafter. So I think Rafter's pretty much recovered. Gabe is still on the mend, but I'm happy to say he's doing much better today. Uh, so Gabe was put in quarantine. He's been hanging out in the spa. And I did that because I didn't want him to be sort of pooping in the box with all the other kittens that weren't as sick uh, because it is a mess when he does it and then they just go right in and that family always poops together and they all get covered in it and I'm sure it's not good for any of them. So uh, so that's why Gabe is uh, quarantined right now. Um, then in here, uh, we've taken Cuddles this morning and moved her over to the spare room, uh, AKA Brooks room, uh, you know, where, where, um, lots of, uh, mom cats have sort of ended up staying where the, now the rainbow room, whatever you want to call it, basically right across the hall. And the reason that I've decided to do it that way, as opposed to maybe any of the other potential solutions are first and foremost, that she is extremely difficult to medicate. Well, I shouldn't say that cause she's not that hard to actually get the medicine into, but it really damages our relationship and, and it's not fun for either of us. <laughs> and uh, 
I would rather avoid doing it. So she's not difficult in the traditional sense, uh, you know, but uh, she is difficult in the sense of it's just not good. Um, so that's one reason I wanted to move her over there because then I can put the meds into her food. And I tried it this morning. It worked great. I gave her the dewormer and some uh, some Thailand powder. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's, a, it's another type of... Uh, um, medicine that we use for bad poops sometimes, very rarely. Um, but uh, I put both of those in her food and they both taste terrible, especially the Thailand powder tastes awful. Uh, but I put it in chicken for her and she ate the whole thing. So that's great news because that means it's a nice, easy way to medicate her where she's not going to get upset about it. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy. I just can't do that in here because she doesn't eat it all at once and the kittens in here would eat it and we don't want to mix it up that way and it's just it's it's much better uh, having her on her own for that process and uh then the reason that she has to stay over there even after she's done eating is for now um i think that it's it's good for us to keep them separated just to sort of try to um um I guess give us uh, a little bit, not exactly quarantine, because, you know, these guys are sick and she's probably sick with it too, but sort of to keep it separated and give us a way to sort of divide and conquer. That's that's how I would put it, uh, you know, what we've got going on. So I think that's good. I think there's other reasons to do it too. Um, We can't just put the suit on her to get her to stop nursing because I know that she's going to be miserable and that's going to damage our relationship the same way that meds would. And while they're sick, all the time, but especially while they're sick, we would want to change that suit every day. It would be a process for us and it's just not good. And then uh, finally, um, you know, it's just a fact that kittens socialize with humans better once they're kind of separated from their mom a little bit. And I think that that is going to help these kids quite a bit too. So... That's the plan, is to keep her separated um, until further notice. Not forever, of course, unless, you know, it turns out that she's just ready to go and she gets over them. That could be the possibility. But at least for the next day or two, while we get her on her meds, and if we see her poops come back to good and we see these kittens come back to good, we can probably bring them back together and be okay. Um, But I'm waiting for that to happen first. Similarly, with Skye next door, um... I I haven't put a suit on her yet, but I think she kind of needs one. But what I was saying to DJ this morning about that suit decision for Skye is if she has good poops and her kittens have good poops and everybody's healthy and gaining weight and it looks like they're fine, um, then I don't need to put the suit on her. And if they vomit up a little bit of cheese here and there, so be it. As long as everything else is good, I can we can just ignore that for now. We won't have to put the suit on Skye at all. Uh, On the other hand, if there's bad poops and losing weight and that kind of thing, we'll probably end up getting a suit on her. So that's the plan. That's the story. Uh, The bottom line is that right now, Gabe is doing much better, um, but not quite back yet. We might bring him back, you know, by this evening or tomorrow if if he continues to improve this quickly. Um, and then in here, I've taken the weights today, and Marsh and uh, PJ up here are both really feeling it. And I've, like I said, I've seen the bad poops. I don't necessarily know who has the bad poops, but the weight chart makes it pretty clear it's Marsh and PJ that are probably having the bad poops. I started them on metronidazole, the antibiotic, and everybody's on dewormer again right now. And uh, as soon as I'm done with mailbag, uh, well, I'll probably take a break as soon as I'm done with mailbag, like I said. Uh, I think I said, I I'm, I'm just haven't been getting enough sleep, um, so I'll take a few minutes. But uh, today, I need to clean and sterilize this room again um, and get them a fresh litter box now that we've got mom out of the room and kind of try to get things back under control. It worked really well next door as far as I'm concerned, and now it's time to focus in here because uh, they're having the same kinds of issues. Now, I know everybody's probably going to want to know, are we going to bring the two groups together? Like, well, how come we can't just open this door and mingle the classes? And one reason is um, the divide and conquer idea. I don't want to bring them all together all the time while they're sick like this. You know, I'd rather try to sort of separate it out and, and, and give us more chances to get things fixed up. Um, but that is definitely the plan. You know, if they weren't having bad poops today, that door would be open right now, and Sky would be mingling with all the kittens, and it would be great fun for everybody. 
It's all part of the plan. We might get some opportunities to have them come for limited visits, and we might get some opportunities to have their mom come in here for a limited observed visit, you know, a little bit here and there. But, uh, you know, limited to where I can watch them and, and keep an eye on who's in the litter box when and make sure that there's not a pile on and they're all, you know, eating each other's poop and stuff. We just, we got to keep a real close eye on it. So, uh, so that's the plan. Uh, I think that covers pretty much all of the news. Of course, I, I have to mention that uh, Monkey, uh, Monday and Holiday are getting picked up by their doctor on the 11th, as far as I know. And... Uh, Cal, uh, Calendar still needs an adopter, and I'm surprised that she hasn't found that yet since she's so adorable. She's sweet on people. She's hyperactive, playful, uh, just a, a sweet, all-arounder, perfect cat, in my opinion. And she gets along pretty well with everybody, and the only one that she's got any trouble with here is Maggie, and that's par for the course. Uh, you know, that shouldn't really count against her. Um, she also likes to yell at the door over here with the kittens, but that I think is just a mom cat thing. So I think she would get along with pretty much anybody's cat. Um, she's just great. You know, I don't have to advertise for her though. You guys will see that. Okay. Let's do some actual mailbag. Uh, first off we have some letters and we got the postcard that was the one missing from last week. Um, I don't know where I'm showing that, but it's cute. It's a little Photoshop kitten with a typewriter at the park. And uh, it says, okay to read on stream card one of three, Mr. A and DJ, thank you so both so much for all you two have done over the last eight plus years for the faculty, mom, cats, kittens, and pregnots of KA. The front shows the cherry blossoms at the Bill of Rights Plaza with the uh, convention center across the Willamette River. Very cool. Huh. Uh, oh, in Portland. Okay, I was wondering, like, where at, but I see that must be Portland then. That's really cute with a beautiful little calico. It looks exactly like Holiday, doesn't it? Such a little cutie. Okay. Then we have a card here that uh, purports to be from the two cutest KA alums to ever live in VT. So, uh, I don't know. It's a fierce competition. Uh, uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> uh I pulled out the wrong letter opener for this task, but I'm just going to go with it anyway. Don't change letter openers midstream. Okay, I'm changing letter openers midstream. Okay, there we go. It says, yes! A very excited cat. And inside it says congratulations mr a and dj way to go on eight years of streaming i'm so glad i joined the wonderful ka community a few years ago when flower had her tinies and i'm looking forward to being around for many more your willingness to share your home and lives running ka is so appreciated and the world is definitely a better place with you dj and ka in it i'm looking forward to seeing you both at ka con in just a couple months Many smoogles from K Bless, uh, Daisy, Mayhem, and Bamboozle. Ah, fantastic. And then we have, P.S. The Kittens wanted me to let you know that this card is late because I didn't realize we were out of stamps, not because their letters weren't ready. When I told them we'd send it in due time, they just rolled their eyes. Teenagers. <laughs> That's super cute. So, here we have, I love letters from the alumni kittens. It's so cute. Uh, hi, Mr. A and DJ. Guess what? We got to see a solar eclipse. Oh yeah, you guys would have been right in the path for it, wouldn't you? That's so cool. Uh, my mom says we live in a really good place to see it, so lots and lots and lots of people came from all over to visit Vermont. It was so weird. First, it was light like normal for when mom gets home from work, but then it got dark super duper fast. And just when I was trying to figure out where to spend my first sleep session of the night, it got light again. I figured that meant breakfast but was told no, <laughs> but we did get an extra churu. My mom tried to put her funny glasses on me, but I just chewed them instead. I've been keeping a lookout for any other weird things happening in the sky, but so far it's been okay. I'll keep you updated. Much love, mayhem. And then we have, hi, Mr. A and DJ, guess what? I decided to start my own academy. I've created an online course all about self-nursing. So far I have two students, Julian and Holiday, and they are both doing great. I hope word will travel through the Kazoo Network and I can get more kittens to sign up. It's a lot of work to manage along with my Loomerson plumbing internship duties, but I'm doing a good job so far. 
My mom says I am quite the little entrepreneur, whatever that is. I hope you and DJ are doing good and getting lots of spoogles from the kitties there. Say hi to Professor Ari for me and maybe pet him. Lots of love. Bamboozle. That's super sweet. Thank you. It's uh, it, like I said, it's very cute getting letters from the alumni. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, you know, I haven't seen Holiday Nurse in the last couple days, um, but uh, she probably has been. I've also been very distracted the last couple days. So uh, yeah, um, that's a cute little phase that she's going through. She's so funny the way she does it too, because you know some of the kittens sort of like lay on their side where, but she basically sits up and then just leans forward. It's ridiculous. Okay. Final letter. Uh, this has a beautiful finch on it. It says American Gold Finch, and then it's got a little bit of a collage thing going on with a kitty and some paw prints, very 3D. Also, it looks like there's more going on in here. Oh. <laughs> this is a bookmark uh, that says meow here kitty kitty and it's got a can of food that's just been opened but this is extremely funny for me um, because of that joke I think I mentioned uh, I've mentioned before that it's, it's a long story you either know it or you don't um, but it's perfect uh, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, all kitties, my name is April and I've been watching Kitten Academy for quite some time. I love your funny puns and all that you and Dr. DJ do for all the kitties. You both are great at what you do. Watching you brings me such joy and happiness. There are times I find myself talking back at the kitties and some of the puns and jokes. DJ does that too. She will talk to the kitties all the time on the stream. <laughs> Um, by the time you read this, I'll be in recovery. I had to have shoulder surgery. Ooh, I'll be okay. I have great friends and family by my side. You bring me such joy and happiness. I love watching you, especially your interaction with all the kitties and your wife. So glad I found your channel. Take care of yourself and the kitties with love and kindness. April L. April L. Thank you so much. Um, that is such a sweet thing. And I'm, I'm glad. I hope that your recovery is going very well. Um, that's super sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, now we have some boxes. I see somebody's getting ahead of schedule here. A little hot chocolate jumping on the box. All right, let's start with the giant one. And then uh, it feels very light, so I think we'll be able to use this to put other things into, probably. Let's see. I'm just going to open it where it is because it's a bit unwieldy being so long. Oh, I should have guessed what this would be. It's uh, They probably didn't even need to do this. They could have just sent the thing because it's in another box. It is. Can you, anybody else guess what's so large that maybe I have mentioned before recently? It is the official oh, Infinity Scratcher. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And I think there's a note down there in the box as well. So let's take a look here. Uh, I'm just going to have to get it in the box to reach it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hang on. Hi, Mr. A. Does it echo in here? Hi, Mr. A. I thought you could use another Infinity Scratcher to use as you see fit. Perhaps Cuddles and the Snugglers might enjoy it. From Laura Kitten Fan. Laura Kitten Fan, thank you very much. That is a big box for us to use. Uh, let me shuffle things around just a little bit now that we've opened that. Uh, wow, there's a lot of box. Actually, I'm just going to move it straight out into the hall. That's what we're going to have to do. Hang on. Probably we'll collect some cats while we're there. We'll see. So thank you so much for the Infinity Scratcher. These are so nice, as you guys know. And they last a very long time. And they're super strong. Uh, but we do go through them over time because we have a lot of cats that come through. They are the perfect accessory, I think, for one of these beanbag chairs because you can use them as a footrest and you can sit on them. They're, they're Like I said, they're very strong, sturdy, well-built stuff. And that is going to be fantastic. I don't think I'm going to deploy it to these kids yet uh, because this rug is covered in poop and I just had to take those things 
they're, they're, all their toys are, are still getting pooped on uh, and on the regular. So as soon as that ends, I think it'll be the right time to deploy that. But until then, we might want to hold off just a little bit. So uh, thank you very much. So it's perfect. It really is. Um, that's, that's just really thoughtful and generous. So moving along, this says Callie's Moms. Callie's Moms. Ooh, I thought this would be one item, but there's a bunch of stuff in here. And if we can find a note, well, hang on. We got these bags, mysterious bags. Hmm. Well, it says springs for skyscrapers and snugglers, blankets for KA from Callie's Moms. These are such cute blankets. This one is butterflies. Oh, butterflies, flowers, a little gingham, uh, like a pink. Is, is it gingham? Even if it's pink, those little tiny plaid uh, check things? Yeah, I think so. So we got uh, butterflies. Flowers, the little gingham, uh, it's cute little colors that's beautiful, perfect. And this one has foxes and bears and pine trees. Oh, the fox has a little baby fox and the bear has a little baby bear, of course. So perfect. And then on the back, we've got some prints, a really cool gray plaid and uh, some pine trees. Perfect. Those are beautiful. Thank you very much for those. And then... I guess these must be springs, but look at the way they're packaged. Each one in a little burlap sack. I guess it's not technically burlap. It's more of a... Uh... Oh, oh, I see. These aren't the plastic springs that I expected. These are cloth um, felted springs, I guess. Not even cloth. It's felted. And look at that. They're like rainbow. Oh, those are so cool. What do you guys think, huh? Would you like to play with one of those? Oh, Marsha's eyes are so big right now. What is it? What does it mean, buddy? Well, these are really pretty, and there's not just the one in the bag. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them, actually. There's one, two, three, four, I think five, and a tiny bag in the big bag. What is this? Oh, it must be a satchel, a catnip. I'm not smelling things too well today because of these allergies that are going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's got to be what this is. Well, it's so pretty. The dye job on this is really cute. The felt's very nice. The kittens are going to love it. So, Callie's Moms, thank you. Those are cool springs. Two packs of them. Um, one for each class, I guess. And then uh, some beautiful blankets for us to use, which, oh boy, have we been going through a lot of that stuff lately with sick kittens. The laundry across the way in the laundry room is out of control. Like, I got to the bottom of it just the other day, and now that room is, seems like it's never going to be clear. Uh, I've still got a bunch of the stuff that would normally go in these two rooms that are over there since the first cleaning that I... I Technically, I have sterilized them, but I haven't, you know, like given them the full attention yet. So I didn't want to bring them back in. Stuff like the the giant size hanging basket, the uh, beautiful pineapple woven basket that was in the other room, uh, the mouse, of course, the creepy mouse is still in there waiting to be returned. And uh, on top of all that, then we've got like the second wave now of stuff that's all going in there, like the two things I brought over just now. And uh, I'm about to really clean this room. I don't think I'm going to take anything else out of the room, uh, except the litter box, obviously. I'm going to remove that and put in a fresh one. But, uh, but yeah, it's going to still, it's a lot of stuff. So, And for a while, these guys were peeing on the beanbag chair. This is a waterproof blanket, but we probably went through two or three blankets um, before they stopped. I should smell under there to make sure, because they, they like to crawl under the blanket, too, and get on the beanbag chair. Hopefully they're not doing anything under it. Haven't checked that yet, but note to self, uh, that's something we're going to have to check. All right, let's keep rolling. This is a very shiny package with some cat stickers on it, and it came from overseas, but I've covered up all the addresses, so other than the fact it's got customs on it. Oh, Royal Mail, okay. And... Uh, the um, customs declaration does kind of give it away, uh, kind of. It says there is a teaspoon in here, and I wonder if there's a literal teaspoon or just something to do with teaspoon. Uh, let's find out, and hope that there's also a note. There is a note. That's good. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, okay to read on stream, and it's sealed with a cute little kitten that says positive vibes. 
I like that. Okay, okay to read on stream is perfect too. Oh, look at that gold fringe. This must be an Admiralty cat. Uh, and it's a beautiful, like, um, watercolor and pen sketch of a tabby, a brown tabby. It's gorgeous. Uh, so you can have a look at that. And it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I was visiting a local craft fair and I saw this item and instantly knew who to send it to, you and DJ. I hope you like it, and a certain little kitty does too. And love and spoogles to all at KA from Abby on Discord. That's uh, A-B-B-I-E on Discord. Thank you very much. I love this little kitty card. Let's see what you're talking about. Now, first off, you also on the customs declaration said chocolate. And yes, indeed, we've got that. Ooh, I don't, I don't know if I've heard of this. Twirl Extra by Cadbury. You guys get so many Cadbury things overseas that we don't get here. They've got like a whole product line that we don't even know about. Uh, this is Dairy Milk Caramels. Perfect. That's chocolate covered caramel. And, ooh, uh, I think something, this note. Oh, I hope you enjoy these sweet treats oh abby thank you that's cute uh, you wrapped them up but that i didn't realize that was in there so i didn't take them out right here's galaxy empower and thrive whoa that sounds pretty serious for a chocolate bar um hmm, suitable for vegetarians all right and finally oh tony's choco lonely oh sorry tony um I guess that's really all there is to say about it. Tony, Tony's a little bit uh, choco lonely, apparently. Hmm. That's all right, Tony. You'll find somebody. Uh, and finally, then, the item in question. It's all sealed up in this beautiful box. Wow, that's really pretty. But uh, you've definitely taped it. And I don't know if I can untape it or if I should just cut around the edges. Looks like I'm going to have to do that. So let's just try to carefully cut all four sides. Okay, keep going. All right. I heard a noise over there that for some reason I thought was somebody vomiting, but no, they're just wrestling. Okay. Oh, I just got rainbow tissue paper. It's not rainbow, but striped, colored stripes. Okay. All right, and then it's wrapped up in this <laughs> tissue too. I'm going to be careful with it. I don't know how delicate whatever it might be is, but you did say you found it like a craft fair. And it's got all this nice packing around it, so let's be careful about opening it. Uh, if I can be. I guess I really should put a new blade on this knife. I think I've said that before. There's some right there in the box. I just have to do it. Okay, let's see. Did that get us there? I think that got us there. Okay, <laughs> we must go deeper. Uh, this is cute, like neon pink kitty uh, paper. All right, hang on now. The suspense is killing me. This could be anything in here. I bet it's just another package wrapped up. I'm kidding about that, of course. Okay, well, I thought I could get this all the way open without having to tear too much, but there we go. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. All right, moment of truth. It's coming. Okay, it is a spoon. It says jammy thing. Aw, and it, this is so cute. You're absolutely right. It's a very beautiful, like, silver spoon. It may even be actual silver. I don't know. Uh, nickel, it says. All right, so now we know. Um, it also says something else. Nickel. Oh, nickel silver. Okay, so it's like a nickel silver alloy. Uh, the spoon has been, uh, the, the handle of it has some, some just lovely work. And then the bowl of the spoon says, you're my cup of tea. In a very cute little font. That is adorable, Abby. Thank you so much uh, for the uh, jammy thing. <laughs> jammy thing is such a cute phrase. 
That is completely adorable, and I know DJ's going to love it. And I'm going to put uh, your lovely card with it. Oh, it's just millimeters from fitting in the box. That's all right. I just won't close the box all the way for now. Thank you very much for the chocolate, for the spoon. It's all wonderful. It's so thoughtful, too. It's, uh, it's very nice of you to think of DJ and me and Teaspoon um, while you were there and you saw this. That just that really means a lot. So thank you for that. Okay, you guys want your first piece of tissue to play with? Look at this right here. Uh, I mean, you know, aside from the tissue pit yesterday, it didn't work out too well. Okay, let's see if we'll play with that. Is it? Okay, um, moving along. I have two more boxes in here, and then in theory, I'm going to bring the other boxes into the other room to finish out. So we'll try that and see how it works for us. This says bestlittlepetshop.com on it. Um, interesting. Quality guarantee by Flora. Well, uh, let's see if we can figure out what this is and who it's from. <clears throat> oh, wow, this looks kind of familiar. I think we've seen this sort of thing before. Oh, but not like this. Okay, hang on. Uh, is there a note? There must be a note. Mustn't there? Ooh, let's find out. This is just a piece of cardboard, I think, but I was hoping it was hiding a note. But it's not. So, let's see. There must be a note in the package. It is apparently a package of stationery. Oh, there we go. That opened. Oh, look how cute these are. There's one for each kitten. And yeah, they do look familiar because there's the Laser Cut Kitten Academy logo. And then there is some stationery. It says Best Little Pet Shop. And it's got a cute little uh, milk and fish and balls of yarn. The cutest thing, though, is there's a ceramic sort of cat tag. Or maybe it's just uh, like a um, charm. Uh, it's really cool. It's got little paw prints on it. It's ceramic and it's, it's enameled and it's beautiful. And uh, the KA logo that's in here says Alcove in this lovely, like, sea green color. That's just gorgeous. Oh, and I think we found the note. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I wrote it right on the, uh, the notepad. Our Kitten Academy friends, happy May. We love you guys and your kittens and all the good you do. A couple months back in your unboxing, you mentioned you recognize our style. We sent the first package to you a couple years back. Under the business, Cecilia Jane. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, um, I think you guys are the same ones who sent the wooden plaque that is at our, has been at our front door since we moved in here, pretty much. Um, and then also other little name tags and stationery that are like this. They're beautiful, and it's so sweet of you. So, uh, we love our four-legged friends so much, we decided to open a shop specific to them and their people, Best Little Pet Shop. I see. See, now it makes sense. Uh, sending gifts to your new saved kittens and their mamas and their forever families is one small way we can give back. Thank you for all you do. This notepad is for you and the Academy from Anna, Flora, and the team. Well, thank you so much. That's uh, Best Little Pet Shop slash Cecilia Jane. Uh, oh, these aren't all exactly the same either because this, is, um, this one says Joist. And the uh, little ceramic bit says love with a paw print in it uh, for Joyce. I love this color. It's really cute stationery. Completely adorable and so sweet of you guys to do this. Uh, Gabe gets the paw print uh, gable. So it says gable right there. And he saw alcove. Uh, oh, wow, a big one for Skylight that says kitty, and it's got a little kitty head on it, and it's shaped like a kitty head, too. It was so beautiful. That um, uh, What is that color? Is, uh, why, is it cerulean? Is that what I would say? I don't know if I would or not. Oh, now we've got another one. This is a cat, and it says love. Uh, so it's the cat head that says love, and that's for rafter. So beautiful. Thank you so much, uh, Cecilia Jane. Uh, or Best Little Pet Shop, and uh, Anna, Flora, and the team. Thank you very much. It's really sweet. You guys have been watching for so long, and you've sent us some really nice stuff, and I just greatly appreciate it. So 
that's that's really sweet. I love the little laser cut KA logos too with their names on them. That's just super special. So, all right. Uh, actually, I should have saved that to put those back into, but that's all right. We'll we'll get all this sorted out uh, soon enough. All right, this is great stationery too. It's very nice. Uh, thank you, Cecilia Jane, and uh, best little pet shop. Okay. Finally, we have something here that is very heavy and says, Lisa, it's from Lisa for Kittens. And I think that might be all it's going to say because this seems to be drop shipped from a, a seller. But that makes it even more curious. Lisa for Kittens. It's, it's actually some kind of a thing. Whoa. Oh, hey, nice. It says it is a steam cleaner. Whoa, wow, that is extremely generous of you. And I assume that is to help us sterilize these rooms because heat and steam are one of the ways that, that people like to kill Giardia. But uh, wow, this is like a real steam cleaner. Look at that nozzle on there. And we've got these uh, um, brushes with also little nozzles built into the brushes, a couple of those. Wow, uh, these long steam wands. And the unit itself is in here and huge. Uh, it's very big, like this is the real deal, wow. I, uh, I don't even know what to say to that, but I, I'm guessing that's why you sent it and it's wonderful. It's just, it is really, it's so generous. I, uh, Lisa for kittens, um, you, you really have been quite generous to us over all the years and to the kittens and this is, uh, it's it's too much. It's really too much. Um, but uh, but I know I'm going to appreciate it, and I know we're going to end up using it quite a bit. And uh, also, I'm sure DJ is going to end up using it for her clothes and stuff because she does uh, do that once in a while. Um, so uh, I, I I'm excited to see if this is this going to be work out well for like trying to uh, sterilize and or uh, clean stuff. I, I really want to check it out. It's got the manual right here, and I'm. I'm tempted to go through it right this minute, but I will wait. Oh, wow, the unit's got wheels, so you can wheel it around. Whew, this is serious. Uh, oh, it's got all the stuff. A cord winder, extension tube, ironing brush, window brush, big nozzle, hair brush, straight nozzle, floor brush, carpet glider. Wow, round brush, towel for the floor brush, an ironing towel, a funnel, a measuring cup. This is uh, really nice. This is something we'll be able to use for a lot of things, I think, not just steam cleaning the floor, uh, but uh, all kinds of stuff. Wow. Hmm. Uh, thank you, uh, Lisa Four Kittens. That's the, again, it's very thoughtful of you, and, and hopefully, um, it's something that I can I can actually use to help us out with this particular situation. I'm sure that's why you sent it. Um, I don't know if I will get to it with today's cleaning, um, but I should. Uh, but but soon enough, one way or the other, we're going to have to do... It's not going to be the last cleaning since they still are making the bad poops. We're, we're going to have to have a few cleanings before we're really clear of it. Um, but uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Again, That's it's incredibly generous of you. Um, so much, I was thinking, so much of the nice stuff that we have is stuff that we wouldn't really take the, the effort to, to get for ourselves or wouldn't consider really getting for ourselves. But then it turns out that uh, it, it's wonderful. Like the I think of the rug cleaner that we use all the time uh, was sent in. And uh, I, I would never have thought to buy that rug cleaner, but now it gets so much mileage on it. Um, it's it's wonderful. So this is, uh, this, this I'm sure is going to fall into that category. So... Uh, thanks. All right, now let me get all this stuff out of here. We're going to bring some boxes into the next room over, and then we will go over there, I think, and try to continue. Why not, right? It's, it's an experiment. So let's see. Uh, maybe in the meantime, I'm going to turn my mic off for just a second so I don't risk embarrassing DJ when I give her this teaspoon. So uh, hang on here. Let me turn this off, and don't let me forget to turn it back on. Oh, my goodness. Hang on now.
<laughs> I uh, I gave DJ the 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 uh, bookmark too, and uh, she immediately made reference to the joke. So <laughs> yeah, probably not. Uh, okay. Uh, Sky came out. She's heading your direction. I'm telling you, Sky's headed your way. She came out of the room. Oh. I heard somebody hiss at Sky. I think it was probably Ari. She, of course, didn't mind a bit. So, all right, let me get situated in here. I think my mic's on. Uh, this is another issue where the camera is not necessarily situated for this, but we're going to try. I'm sure the cameras are already switched over, but we're going to try it. Let's just check. Well, not quite. Let's do it then. Let's try this. Oh, oh, wait, it was switched over. I'm looking in the wrong place. I'm so dumb. All right, hang on. Uh, all right, I don't know what I'm doing now. Good. We'll go with that. It's good enough. Um, <laughs> hi, Alcove came right to my lap. That's cute. And uh, what else was I checking here? I was doing something else. Oh, I was going to check the camera in the other room and maybe point it in a different direction. All right. I don't know if that gets us anything. That's what we're going to go with for now. All right. Well, here we are. Mailbag part two, all in one day. What do you think of that? Those two aren't even going to wake up. Oh, Joyce woke up, looked at me, and I was going to try to go back to sleep. All right. Fine. Well, I don't know why I came in here. At least I got you. A little flu for Al. So let's do this. Um, well, we're just going to start right here on top. This says Kitten Academy. That's us. Oh, Mylar Balls. Look at that. Is there a note? Oh, uh, I got a message, I think. Wait, no, there is a note. Okay, not for this. For use around the Academy or endowments, use as you see fit from Ranau. R-A-N-O-W. Ranau is how uh, I'm going to go with that. Thank you so much, Mylar Balls. You can never have too many of these. In fact... These guys look like they don't have enough. You guys want one of these right meow? There you go. Thank you. Hang on. What is that, sleeping kids? Oh, I see the kittens in the next room at the door like, hey, hey, come back. All right. Wow, you are so floofy. Your floof is so thick, Al. That's craziness. Renal, thank you so much. Like I said, you can never have too many Mylar balls. Uh, real good time. Did you guys... Oh, all right. There's, uh, there's more, Mylar, more Mylar balls. For the Academy or Endowments, use as you see fit. All right, so there wasn't just the one. There's uh, two, three, four... Five sets of these Mylar balls. They're perfect. You know, they are great toys to have here, and they're great toys for endowments. And I know I've mentioned this recently, but one of the reasons that I love Mylar balls is if you crunch them up and then throw them for a kitten, they, they sort of crinkle as they uncrunch, um, and that can attract the cat's attention, especially when they're young and they have trouble tracking things. It's a great way for them to have a toy that they can find or be drawn to uh, because it makes a noise for just a little while. So that's that's uh, really nice, and uh, these are a lot of Mylar balls. So thank you for those. I'm going to put those right here for the moment, and keep rolling. So next up, 
we have, um, well, I don't know what we have, but we have a smell. Is that smell coming from you? I guess it probably is, but there's nothing to see there. Okay. Now, I had my green knife out when I came in here, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did, and now I don't see it. I probably am sitting on it. So let's just open this. I hear you. Is that PJ or Cash? Looks like it's probably Cash. Oh, buddy, I hear you. Yeah. I know, I know, it's terrible. He's going to be fine. Joist! Hi, Tiny Joist! Hi! I see there's a knife guard here. Hi, there you go. And there's the note. Perfection. It says the note. Wow, this is packed in here. This is like one of these uh, uh, B&B Sisters boxes, except it's not. You can tell, because that one is. <laughs> so, let's see. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, happy belated 8th anniversary to Kitten Academy. I'm sending my usual mini blankets and toy for both Skylight Skyscrapers uh, and Cuddles Snuggle to take to their forever homes. I have also sent toys to use as you see fit. At the bottom of the package, there are three packs of rope-like wand toys for each of the kittens to go in their endowments. One for each, and the extra one you can use as you see fit. There are two packs of rainbow ribbon wand toys. One is for Sky and one is for Cuddles. Uh, where'd you go, buddy? Why are you still meowing outside of the litter box? Okay, I guess we're fine. Um, I'm so happy to see all the kittens are growing and thriving, especially little Joist. That all their personalities are beginning to show, and there are several of them that are very fluffy, I'll say. Cuddles is becoming a sweet cat. She really is. I know that you guys see her being spicy quite a bit, but she is truly a sweetheart. She's so excited to see us every time we come in the room. Just, just so sweet. Um... I'm so glad that she was able to stay at the Academy. Thank you for taking the time to work with her. Thank you for all that you do for all mom cats, kittens, non-mom cats, and the faculty. From Rose, Tucker, Tony, and Tessa, of course. Well, thank you so much. And there's a lot, I think, to go through here. Oh, this is cool. This is a shiny dragonfly and a little beetle uh, with, uh, with the wings and everything. What cool details on these toys. Uh, the shiny drag. I love dragonflies, and I love this kind of beetly thing. That's just that's fantastic. So cool! Wow, he's got long sort of antenna here on front. Um, beautiful, sparkly, and uh, there's another. I thought there was another set of that. I don't know. I was just imagining it. I guess this one has Snoopy and uh, Woodstock on it. It's Peanuts two pack cat toy. Perfect with those little balls and ribbons and things. Much fun. Oh. I see we've got a Charlie Brown theme going on here, because this one has Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Charlie Brown shirt, and one that says, Good Grief on it, which is, <laughs> of course, Charlie Brown's tagline there. Uh, this is a three little kitten tea bags, very adorable. Ooh, uh, this is some sort of a radish, I guess. That's what it looks like to me anyway. It's a pink, smiling vegetable with a little a greenery sticking out of the top. Maybe it's a beet. Could be. Could be a beet. Uh, here we have a cup of shrimp. A uh, cup of noodles with shrimp in it, actually, is what I should say. That's so cute. It's like a ramen, like an instant ramen. And then uh, it's got these little shrimp that can be removed. Uh, all three of them can be removed, but the two of them are currently uh, stuck on so they don't get lost. But then there's a little tiny pouch in the middle of it so you can put them down in there and your cat can try to fish out the shrimp. How cool is that? And the shrimp has little smiley faces and so does the cup. It's adorable. That is completely adorable. Uh, we have an eggplant. We have, oh, a cool shiny rocket ship with uh, flames, feather flames coming out the back. That's fantastic. 
We got a pizza party, which has a pizza slice and a, ba a box for it to go into. Another thing that your cat can pull it out of, crinkly. Uh, oh, a cute little electric bird that will squeak and squeak and squeak. We have some fuzzy, real fur mice. Oh, those are highly valued cat toys. Churu by the pack. Uh, we got a bunch of churu here, several packs. Also other treats. We have Pure Bites freeze-dried chicken. We have, uh, these are blue bursts in various flavors. We have savory seafood and paw licking chicken. More toys. <laughs> Cat Tucky Fried Chicken, of course. This is another uh, on the theme of cat toys that include their own little bag for the, the uh, toy to be fished out of. So we have a, a chicken leg and the bag, and the two of them can come apart when once you take them off of the card there. Wow, this is also really cool with the spaceship. We have a flaming meteorite. Oh, that just reminds me of the intro to Flash Gordon. Isn't that... Uh, Flaming meteors. Wasn't that the, the thing that Ming the Merciless sent down from his uh, uh, from his uh, computery thing? Uh, wow, that's, I'm really dredging the, the distant memories here. Yeah, they seem like they could go together, though. I mean, this rocket's got to really stay away from that. Okay, uh, we're almost down to the good stuff. That's uh, like the real custom, the, your little bags with your blankets to it. But we're gonna we're gonna get there. All right, more mylar balls. Never too many. Uh, hot cocoa and marshmallow. Ah, that's so cute. Look at that. It's hot cocoa and marshmallow. Perfect. Oh, these are the ones that you were talking about stuffed down here on the bottom. Well, we'll get to those at the end then. I won't try to drag them out. Here we have 36 pieces of some kind of toy. Uh, oh, look at that. We have a planet too. That can kind of go with that theme. All right, hang on now. I need something to check this out with. We'll just have to try one of the backup knives. I'm sorry, I'm being a little sniffy. I, I understand that. Um, oh, these are tiny little rattle mice. These are perfect for kids, especially kids this age right now. Hey, psh, psh, psh. what's this back here, buddy? Hey, look here. It rattles. What do you think? Oh, I just got no idea. <laughs> okay. She, she, I still want Joyce to be a he for some reason. I say he all the time, but Joyce is a girl. So those are cute little tiny rattle mice. Oh, just perfect for these kids and the ones next door. I'm going to give them two. And I'm going to put two in my pocket for uh, for the next room when I go over there. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll give it to them after I clean. That would make too much sense, wouldn't it? Okay. Perfection. Now, the good stuff, we have your custom little blankets with toy packs, one for each. And the toys, we've got our the usual suspects, a real fur ball, a little uh, felted ball, some little tiny mice, a rattle mouse, springs, uh, and some fun tubes. And then the custom little blanket, this is for Marshmallow. Marshmallow gets the plaid with the boats. Boats, right? Oh, not boats. Transportation. It has boats and planes. I see. Very cool. Hi. Hi. You play with the letter joist? Okay, you do that. You do that. But why don't you play with this? Look. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's the perfect size for you too, isn't it? Uh, this is pajamas. Gets the same kinds of toys, but this one comes with a plaid pink blanket uh, with a white on the back. And then we have cashmere is getting another travel related one. This one's got suitcases and the planet on it, along with a really cool matching plaid. Oh, that's the perfect toy. Uh, this one is for cuddles and has this lovely green sort of uh, tie-dye pattern along with uh, nature scenes. It's got antlers and flowers on it. That's pretty cool for cuddles. Hot chocolate gets purple with a purpley plaid, very matching. <laughs> Marsh now is yelling at the door. Wait, no, that's not Marsh now, that's PJ. And hot chocolate, I saw Marsh a second ago. Uh, Skylight gets this pink with little birds and deer. Oh, I see, that kind of goes on a the theme there because uh, we've got the deer with the big antlers and the flowers in them. This is Alcove, has pink with a pink plaid. This is Joist, that's you, kiddo, who has pink with a different pink plaid. 
Now, now you're playing with a blanket. Did you just lose your little tiny mouse? Where did you Where did you put your the mouse? Where is it? How did you lose that so quickly? Oh, here it is. Did I bury your mouse? Hey, Joyce. She, oh, she's still not that good at it. You're paying attention to what's going on around here. There you go. What do you think? Here it is. Look right here. Okay. I don't know. That's probably not very on camera, is it? Oh, but she's just a little. It's so cute. Okay, let's just see if we can get this someplace where it's easier for you guys to see how cute she is with this. Oh, what is it? Okay. Perfection. Don't worry. You guys are getting one, too. I said that. Um, I hope I didn't miss anybody because this last one then is Gable who has trucks and a, a blue matching truck, truck plaid. Uh, oh, and then Rafter. Uh, maybe I didn't do it. Maybe I did. Anyway, uh, pink plaid with white. Perfection. Those are so nice. Uh, then at the bottom here, we have some wand toys, like you said, but they're different. This one has rainbow ribbons on it. These have ropes on them that are uh, braided, colorful braided ropes. There's another rainbow ribbon. And then there's a box that has... What is the box about? Oh, wow. You must have called this out specifically somehow. This is a, another wand toy with a set of accessories. And it says, uh, rainbow ribbon wand toys, rope-like wand toys. Um, oh, and an extra, maybe this is the extra one that you can use. No, it's got to be the ropes. I don't know. That's cool. It's very cool. So thank you. Uh, very nice with all the different accessories that can go on the end of the wand. Wonderful. I don't know how I'm going to fit all of this back in here to take down to the endowment zone. Uh, I can make a, a simple try at it, though. By kind of putting them back in the way you had them, more or less. These are absolutely wonderful. I just, I love it. I know the adopters love it. Rose, Tucker, Tony, and Tessa. All of you. Thank you very much. I'm going to sneeze. Let me mute myself for that. Disapp yeah, she can come in. I guess I, I know, yeah sure go ahead. He, was, uh, he wants some attention now. Yeah, Good. I'm, I'm glad he's definitely starting to recover a bit, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's great. Okay. Is all this, buddy? I failed the sneeze, by the way. I tried. Didn't happen. Very disappointed. What happened? I was gonna sneeze and I muted the mic just as you were coming in, and then my sneeze didn't happen. Oh, the sneeze didn't happen. Yeah, no sneezing. Yeah. That's no, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Isn't this cool? Flaming meteor? The spaceship? It's like very Flash Gordon. It's also a planet, but I don't think it's part of the set because there's no sparkles. I mean, it works, though. Yeah, it works. Very cool. Well, is he up and walking around, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, take it easy, you guys. That's not even him. I know. I know. Oh, he's going straight for the... Yeah, I got to take care of that. I don't... Like I said, my number one priority for him is not to have his poops. Oh, okay. I mean, he no, he can poop in there, but I just don't want anybody else to get into it. I got to immediately clean it up. And that means you don't get to go over here. Those are the next door. Ever since I left the room, they're just in the window yelling at me. They have bad poops, too. I don't want that. I, I would have to watch carefully, and I'm not doing it during... No. I don't know how these guys are. I haven't fully evaluated theirs. So, I mean, I doubt they are pristine as the sun, you know? They're probably all the same. Oh, maybe. Hang on. I'm going to mute myself again, because i gotta, I got to try to blow my nose now. Okay. He was just peeing, so that's okay. You're allowed to just pee, buddy. Pee, buddy. All right. Now this is going to have to leave with me because that's now a snot rag. Oof. Okay. All right. A couple more things to open, and DJ said she was going to go next door and make sure that those kittens didn't have so much to yell about. Um, so let's do this. Our next box is from Pound Cake. Pound Cake. All right. Let's see. 
Um, hopefully I'm opening this in the right direction. It seems like this box is stuffed full, like it's going to burst. Let's open it up carefully. Hi, Sky. Hey, pal, do you want to play with a little mouse? Are you ready to play? Because seeing you play would be fun. What do you think? Oh, oh what is it? Okay, go for it. Oh, well, it looks like some kind of bed. Oh, and there's a note. Good. I decided skyscrapers and snugglers needed a house of floof, especially Big Al, who I'm pretty sure is part tribble from Pound Cake. All right, Pound Cake. Well, there's two of these, though. Uh, and what is a house of floof? It's a cute pet house. Okay. Um, I, gosh, I don't want to open these and have them uh, put out quite yet soon. Uh, like maybe post cleaning. Uh, these guys have been really good about not pooping and things, so they can probably have one right away. But without the note, I'm assuming um, the other one is for the snugglers. Yeah, so one is for the skyscrapers and one is for snugglers. Um, and the snugglers one, I definitely don't want to put out quite yet. Um, and these guys, I, mean, I think I'm probably going to try to at least vacuum and clean up a little bit in here and sterilize. So I'll put them out right after that. But I do think they should go out sooner rather than later. Both these groups need pods. Just those guys can't be trusted with a pod yet <laughs> uh, as of this morning. So, uh, yeah, not, not quite yet. But soon, very soon. So, uh, pound cake, thank you. And if you guys, if I'm pretty sure I can guess what these look like. I just saw... I was just watching, somebody just posted a GIF of uh, which class was it that had that the house downstairs in the living room, and they would run in and out of it all the time, and it was really cute. And uh, I was looking at that GIF just yesterday, I think, and I thought, oh man, that house was so cool, and it went home with one of them, which was perfect. We do that all the time, and that's the right thing to do. Um, but it's nice now that we've got two more to, to distribute around for these kittens, and I think they're going to really like it. So, Pound Cake, thank you. Uh, we'll try to get that out sooner rather than later. This note can go in here with the other stuff from Rose. And that leaves us with one last box here. The one I think everybody knows who this is from. Okay. This is obviously a B and B sisters box. Very distinctive style. There's my green knife. I see it now. I left it over there. Ooh, a rainbow. I like that right off the bat. But first, a note. Oh, it's a beautiful watercolor of a little black and white kitty playing with a plant that's grown in the cracks in the cobblestone here. As you can see, very cute. And inside, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. We just had to send this card as we think it looks like one of the kitties in the current class. And close to the usual, food blankets, and because we just love spoiling the kittens and cats, lots of toys. Cats can never be spoiled enough. Please use as you see fit and it can never be stated enough thank you for all you do for these wonderful kittens and their moms from the bnb sisters beatrice and bernadette uh bnb sisters thank you this is a lovely watercolor card that's just beautiful and so are these blankets wow look at these colors um which way is up here oh 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 hi sky i'm sorry curtains on sky well there's clearly a cat here hang on Oh, there we go. Look at those rainbow colors. This would go perfect in the rainbow room and a beautiful blue cat eye and his nose. It's just a real close-up on a cat face, but done with rainbow colors. Super pretty. I did a terrible job of refolding that. Hang on, let's move this out of the way a little bit so we can look at these just a tiny bit better. This is... There we go. It says, all you need is love and a cat. And it's got kind of an old-timey uh, drawing of three cats. And they're looking at butterflies and flowers. And it's got a cute border with paw prints. It's beautiful. Those cats are really pretty. Okay, well done. This blanket is... Oh, it's a whole family of cats with a big orange floof. 
and uh, four little baby floofs. And they're sitting outside with a flower pot in a garden with butterflies. Beautiful, once again, lots of great colors in these. There we go, right there. And one more, what do we got here? Oh, wow, another uh, close up on some kitties. On a kitty playing with a ball of yarn. Look at that face. That's super cute. Okay. I hope you guys could see it a little bit. Um, all right. Now, on to the toys. We've got a, like a Christmas crackery type thing here. A really pretty butterfly. Oh, crazy about catnip. Handmade cat toys. Crazy about catnip. Etsy. Um, that's really pretty little butterfly. We got some shrimp and, ooh, with cocktail sauce. Whoa, nice. A little packet of cocktail sauce for our shrimp. Here we got another crazy about catnip. This one is milk, a little milk. Uh, oh, the squid. I love this squid. I don't know what happened to the other one. Um, I know it was getting pretty dirty in the spa, but this squid thing is so cool with this uh, the fabric that they use for the little squid bits. It's just, it's really a cool cat toy. Uh, we've got some hand crocheted cat toys. Thank you for shopping with Spoiled Cat Crochet, also on Etsy, Spoiled Cat Crochet. And uh, what do we got here? We've got a little, looks like a black and white uh, killer whale, uh, a little red elephant, a gray shark, and the last one is, uh, oh, oh, the last one's a narwhal. It's got a, the little um, uh, unicorn horn and everything on it. Very cool. Well, one of these things is uh, not entirely like the others. We've got a shark, a killer whale, a narwhal. Yep, yep, yep. And then an elephant. All right, well, you know, why not? Uh, very cute. Hi, are you going to just sample all this stuff right ahead of the game, huh? Here we have old mice. Old mice deodorant. Ah, oh, that's cute. Old mice is uh, was one of the scents that my dad would always wear. It's just one of those things. And I actually have a bottle uh, that I sometimes put on just, just for nostalgia reasons. I, just the other day, I put it on out of the blue. I was just in there looking at it. And I'm like, I'm going to put some of that on. Uh, that's hilarious. Okay, uh, here we've got these really cute little fuzzy mice. Here we've got some feathery balls. We've got, uh, uh, this is like a cat head with a string and feathers and a bell. I bet that is going to be a well sought after toy because it's a lot like this thing that is uh, one of the favorite toys of all these kittens in here. Kids, I thought TJ was taking care of you. Did she leave the room just long enough for Marsh to start yelling at me again? I guess so. Oh, here, this is the same kind of thing, but with a fox head on it. These are going to be great toys that they're going to love. Uh, we've got some Charlie balls here. We've got a lime with a cool catnip whisker claw hard seltzer. That's uh, another. <laughs> this is very cute. Okay. Uh, here's the same kind of fish that we have the bears uh, chasing or, or catching downstairs. Uh, so that's uh, familiar, I think. A cute little parakeet with this little pip on top of his head. Ah, oh, so adorable. A little crest, I guess that would be. Okay. Wow, there's so much more. Another one of the bear fish. That's, I'm just going to call it bear fish. Why not? Uh, three flat woodland creatures. We have a flat fox, a flat beaver, and a flat rabbit, I'm going to say. It looks like a rabbit. Very cute. Those are going to be fun too. We got the salsa kit here. Or I guess not salsa kit, I should say. We've got hot sauce, a taco, and some guacamole. Marsh, I hear you. Oh, this is cool. We've got a little flying squirrel with a very fuzzy tail. We have a happy lobster. Oh, yeah. Marsh, Marsh, oh, <laughs> too cute. Uh, here we have a pack of dinosaurs. Whoa, very cool. 
Uh, another of the bear fish. Oh, this really cool. Oh, this is a chirping bird. Okay, I'm not going to pull that out and have it start chirping, but that's a really nice one, too. I made out of like burlap with little feathers and some fuzz. More mylar balls. Never too many. All right, put that over there with the others. More of the real fur mice. Marsh. Marsh. Oh my gosh, buddy. You can eat on your own. You don't need a mom cat around to eat, pal. I proved it to you earlier. All right, I'm going to come help you out some more. This is a lovely fish with little golden scales and this uh, sort of pink um, gradient on it, I guess. I don't know how else to describe that. Really pretty. And googly eyes. We have a uh, crocheted spaceship and flying saucer. Actually, the spaceship is crocheted. The flying saucer is felt. Uh, that's really cool. That flying saucer is especially cool. The green thread that they use to sew the felts together really sets it off. That's cool. I like it. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, you're feeling a lot better today, aren't you? I know you're not 100%, but you look like you're doing way better. Uh, oh, we got another parakeet here. This one's laying on its back. Maybe a cockatiel, actually. Uh, laying on its back and being all cute, like you do. Uh, here we've got a cockatiel, uh, for sure, right? Pink like that with the big crest. That's got to be what that is. Uh, margarita with a hot pepper. And a big, fat, it says vibrating mouse, is it? Oh, it's got a pull string, I see. Yep, that's exactly what it is. With those feathers on it, that's going to be a hit either. Oh, yeah, Sky wants to play with it right now. Here we have a uh, noodle soup shrimp flavor with a shrimp. Hi, I know. Okay, you touch all of them, Sky. Touch, touch, touch. Oh, and one more of those really cool toys. This one with a little black cat head on it. Perfection. And then, as usual, you've lined the bottom with a new low a turkey and chicken recipe, which is exactly what we feed these guys. Perfection. Uh, B&B sisters, thank you so much for taking good care of us. Thank you to everybody for taking such wonderful care of the kittens and us. Uh, I, I really appreciate it more than I think I'll ever be able to say. Um, but, uh, but that was mailbag a day late. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but I'm glad we got to it this weekend. You know, that counts for something anyway. And uh, perfect size for us to get through in the allotted time. So I think it worked out well for everybody. Now I've got to put all this stuff away and I guess uh, put those kids somewhere. I, they might as well come in here while I'm cleaning their room and then they can go back and then I can clean this room and make up for it, right? I think that's a plan. That's, that's, that's just what we're going to have to do. But first I'm going to have DJ take uh, our little quarantine patient back so that if he has some poops um, and I don't see it, then we'll know what to do. I think I think that's the right way to go. Of course, there's a possibility those other kids are going to have that kind of poop too. That's fine. You know what? We'll play it by ear. I think we're really doing a good job of getting these guys on the mend uh, now that we've split them up and uh, they're starting to feel better and we've seen some recoveries already. I'm feeling very positive about it. So uh, I was feeling pretty negative about it yesterday, to be honest. I mean, not like I thought there was going to you know, be some terrible outcome. That was never the case. But it was certainly getting me down a lot more yesterday than it is today. So uh, that's good. It's good stuff. All right, I'm going to turn off my mic now, put you back on the regular mic. And uh, that's so cute. Little Joyce is cleaning his neck because he, he we, so when we feed him, he's a mess. He hates it and he tries to spit out a lot of the food and it gets all over his neck. So that's why the other kittens are going to think his neck tastes wonderful. And as uh, little Joyce is proving right now, he actually had that problem last night when I brought him in here for a visit. And Alcove uh, thought his neck tasted so good, she tried to take a big bite of it, which did not make anybody happy. <laughs> but, well, you know, that happens. So, all right, uh, let me get this cleaned up and do the mic, like I said.
Why is Marsh complaining so much? I guess he's just been exposed to the Marsh realities of life. That was a real stretch. Don't go encourage that. That was not even good. What are you doing behind the beanbag kids? Come out. Come out of there. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. This is not a plane. No. Nope. Oh. Nope. 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 Look. Off limits. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing, Sky? When did you a jumper? Oh my goodness, Marsh, we're coming, buddy. You're gonna be okay, you know. That is Marsh. I'm going to bring it to the center. I will. I'm going to bring it to the center. You go in. 